During a recent Google Plus hangout, President Obama heard directly from Jennifer Waddell, whose husband, a high-tech engineer, had been unable to find a job for more than three years. Now, the president seemed very surprised about the employment struggles of so many high-skilled Americans like Mr. Waddell. It's something I've been hearing for several years, not just from my constituents, but from around the country. Many high-skilled Americans are being passed over for jobs. Companies are hiring lower-wage workers from overseas, often through the H-1B visa program. I'm glad that Mrs. Waddell brought this to the President's attention. The President offered to personally help Mr. Waddell, but there are many other Americans in the same boat. The struggles for these high-skilled workers will continue. The President's administration recently made policy changes affecting foreign students and spouses of H-1B visa holders that put American workers at a terrible disadvantage. The H-1B visa program should complement the U.S. workforce, not replace Americans. Through my oversight, I've uncovered untold amounts of fraud and abuse in the H-1B visa program. To ensure that qualified American workers are given first consideration, I've written legislation that would return the program to its original intent where employer use of H-1 visas only is meant to shore up employment in areas where there is a truly lack of qualified American workers. My bill makes reforms to increase enforcement, modify wage requirements, and ensure protection for visa holders and American workers. President Obama should support my H-1B reform legislation, and by the way, that's a, a bipartisan bill, and thus give qualified, high-skilled Americans the best opportunity to compete for jobs.